Well, fellas, uh, I want to transition here before we get to mailbag uh, because we are going to get to that at 945, 950. And I want to talk about the Robert Woods stuff mm-hmm. because uh, shout out to John, shout out to Vito um, for the work they do on all Lions. And I saw that Vito posted an article about Robert Woods, kind of talking about some of the positives and negatives of potentially trading for Robert Woods. And I, I listen, I will say, with the wide receivers we've talked about, I think, you know, Robert Woods, in terms of rapport, he's got rapport. He's got he's got rapport with Jared Goff. That is fair, and that's why they brought in Josh Reynolds. So I don't I don't hate the idea, but I'm going to go back to kind of what I said. It's like, guy, Robert Woods, all that he would be, in my opinion, is depth. You know, and, and I think that's good. But I don't think it's like a, a must trade because you got to trade for him, guys. You know, yeah. like that's that's the thing. If he gets cut, maybe. But if you're trading, hell no. I'm not giving up assets for Robert Woods. I'm not doing that. No, yeah. I mean, fit, you're gonna give a fifth or sixth round pick though. Like that's not crazy. I'm not giving that up for Robert Woods. I'm sorry. I, no, I, I mean, because you got to think with with the value. I mean, that's James Houston. I guess so. Yeah. You know, like that's how I look at it now with Brad Holmes. It's like, well, that's Malcolm Rodriguez, which like those guys are, they contribute, you know, Robert Woods to like be depth and then leave like a six round pick. It's like, no, save those picks for the trade deadline when you don't have enough edge help potentially. <laughs> you know, that, I think the wide receiver do. group's fine, but I think if like, I haven't really been for any of these wide receivers that we've talked about bringing them in, but this one kind of makes more sense. Him and golf have played together, but. I still don't want Robert Woods. He's like 33 years old. I mean, I think you are fine with – I would rather have Antoine Green and DPJ out there over Robert Woods taking reps nine times out of ten. So I don't really care about the chemistry. I think uh, DPJ and Green, those guys will kind of work with golf, and I think they'll be fine. I don't think there's any room to bring in Robert Woods, who even in that offense, Houston faced so many injuries down the stretch, and he even got injured, I'm, too, I'm pretty sure. And he still wasn't even doing anything good. And he had reps out there. He was getting snapped. So there's no reason for it. DPJ and Green are going to be fine. All right. I'm going to crush both of you guys' lives real quick. I'm going to let you guys know what it's really like. Because it seems like you guys are okay with being consistent and, 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 and never trying to get better. That's what this feels like, both of you two talking right now no this is where it's at if, if, better stuff along the line and we're not going to panic right now and sign we're not we don't, it's not that you need to panic it's, it's that you always have to be looking to get better you always have to be looking to get better you can't just sit there and die in the hill of dpj and antoine green and i just said earlier i hope antoine green turns into something nice but if uh, robert woods ends up coming available whether he ends up playing a lot on your team or not if you get there and he's about to get cut from the texans and you call the texans up and you don't have to give up much jeff don't have to give up a fifth or a sixth round pick. All you have to do is call the Texans and say, "Hey, you're about to cut him. Instead of you cutting him, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna we'll, we'll give you a, a sixth round pick swap. You can move up in the sixth round. We'll take your your later sixth round pick. Just let him come over to Detroit for now, right? Okay, you do that. Guess what? What's the best thing in the NFL with players? Competition. When there's no competition behind DPJ and Antoine Green and all of that, there, there, there's not, there, it, it, you can become content so easily. You want competition in these rooms. Bring Robert Woods in. If he doesn't cost a lot, bring him in. He had almost essentially had 400 yards last year. I mean, we, we just keep being like, oh, DPJ, Antoine Green. Oh, these guys, like, no, what happens if they don't work out? What happens if one of them gets hurt? You guys are happy with, 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 with I don't no. know, Isaiah Willis? So why not just bring a guy in? Brad Holmes already came out of press conference two weeks ago and said, as training camp approaches, we're going to look at other wide receivers around the NFL. He's going to look at other guys. So like him saying that as well, just like he said, he likes the development of some of these guys. You still don't want to be just stuck on the mud, and you don't want to just sit there and put your, your, your whole, hey, let's just go all in. We're playing blackjack right now. Let's just go all in on one player. Let's just go all in on TPJ. What if he doesn't work out? Then we don't win the Super Bowl. I'm going to come back at you two, and I'm going to say, oh, we're that was smart of you guys to not want Robert There's Woods. three other that. guys. I, three other guys. You lost the guy. It, and you you're saying as if, if an injury did happen or someone, one of those guys do go down, that Robert Woods isn't available week four. Robert Woods ain't going fucking anywhere, but if he gets traded to another team to sit on another team's bench. He had 400 but, but yards Gentry, last year. This isn't a guy that had 100 yards. This isn't a guy that had 100 yards. This is a guy that averaged the same amount. 
He averaged six more. He averaged six less yards per game than Josh Reynolds, who was your wide receiver too. This isn't Josh like Reynolds. a scrub. And we're going to be fine without Josh scrub. Reynolds. DPJ is going to come in and fit like a glove. All right, all right. I'm done talking this because because Josh Reynolds was nothing last year. He was only your number two wide receiver. We talked no, about him like he was no, a but you, but no, you act like two. he's a superstar wide receiver. No one's acting like that. We're talking about a wide receiver too. A but, three, but a four. That, you that's you, you need context. Every single, you need no, context. Every single player on your team isn't a star. I'm going to just let you guys know that right yes. now. Every player oh, on the I NFL know. Is I know. Star. Star. I know okay. that. Yeah, but, but Gentry, you're like, oh, well, everyone talks about Josh Reynolds as a star. No, I'm talking about a third, fourth guy. Why not have a yeah. guy like Robert Woods who can get you 400 yards in the season if you need I'm, it? And if he doesn't end up playing, guess what? You move on from him and you draft someone else next year. Booner, he's 32. Would you bring him in for a year, he, a Super Bowl run? Two. I'm not. He sure has. He has. You can find 400 yards if it's that bad. You Buna, know, would you rather just be patient and actually, if there is be a guy that you what? need, be, wait, you actually wait, get away. Why down? just give away capital for Robert Woods when you may not even need you're, him? You're, you do a you do a, a swap. You just get, let's swap fifth round picks. Let's swap. Why don't you do it picks. later? You can maybe swap for a later better player than thirty three year old Robert Woods if you just give it time. You don't have to rush and just bring him in for competition. The guys in there are competition. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Now, yeah. Booner, Booner, round Booner pick competition. if he gets That's cut, great. if he gets cut, which could happen, you want to bring. I him trust in DPJ. I trust these guys. Ooh. I don't want that to not be known. But if we're talking about your the thing, I don't I don't agree with is you bring up. Well, what if there's an injury? What if Aiden goes down? Let's just keep bringing up injuries. Well, then you yeah, should that's, focus on that's, edge. That's why the edge issue, the, the depth is a problem too. Like we're talking, we talk, talk, we're talking why injuries. Do, why do you guys have the? Why do you guys have the depth, depth issue with the edge, but you won't talk about it with the wide receiver? Because why? Because there's a clear difference. And guys, like listen, I think DPJ and Jamo and Khalif, they're going to be just fine. But in my opinion, it's there's no, there is no bad harm in going and getting a Robert Woods who's had already a connection with like, his best two seasons in the NFL are both with Jared Goff. Like if, a, you, like if you years. bring him in and you put competition between Antoine, what happens if Ant, like he's a six round, seventh round pick? What if he doesn't work out this year? Huh? What do you do? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, hey, guys, let's patience. Let's just wait until later oh, in the year. Oh, we can if he doesn't someone. work out this year, you know what you do? Someone. You pick up the phone and you get anybody. For, I hope so, Robert like, Woods. Robert I hope Woods Brad knows do. that I hope like Robert, Robert Woods Robert is some Woods. diamond in the rough. Like, I'm not. See, this is no. This is this is where you guys both lose me. Gentry saying Josh Reynolds was a star, and you saying Robert Woods is a diamond in the rough. That's the farthest thing I'm saying. I'm not saying that at all. You're exaggerating. So you have I'm saying Roth? that he can he can be a piece on this offense. Oh, a lot of guys can be pieces. Were, on were, were you guys all? Let me, let me go pull receipts of what people were like when Marvin Jones came in last year, because a lot of people were happy about that, and it's the same thing as Robert Woods coming in right now. Well, they have DPJ. They didn't have him last year. Okay, but when they lost him, like they had a midseason. They okay. got a midseason when they so needed he's better him. Better than both when he was available. They were patient. Right. They got a wide receiver at the deadline. Hey, hey, I, I just listen. I don't think to me, Robert I, Woods. It's like just, just yeah, it's, it's, it's an it's opportunity best. to put competition in that room. Yeah, That's which I'm. Need. Cool. I'm cool with. I'm not. He's not. You're not anything. sitting here paying this guy thirty million. It's probably going to be a veteran minimum. <laughs> like you guys are acting. Like we have so much money available. There's like twenty eight million cap hit right now, just sitting there. Like, oh, what's that going to hurt to get okay. Robert Woods? If you, you guys are acting like I'm saying, go out there and get a star no, and replace no, no, no. Rob. <laughs> no, unbelievable. No. That, that's what this is. This My is problem unbelievable. when you brought up trading for him, which like I'm, I'm waiting till June. Swap a pick, and if he does get cut, June first cut. There we go. That works even better. Yeah, I'd rather just wait for him to get. He's going to get cut. I'm, I'm, I'm probably pick him up, Booner. You know what? You pick him up, bring some competition in there, and Antoine Green send him back home. Is that fair? Okay. Uh, yeah, that, this, Robert Woods was a great player. He's fine, you know, and, and depth is fine. But all I'm saying is, like, man, if J if you have Amon Ross St. Brown, Jameson Williams, DPJ, Khalif Raymond. Dude, that's the scariest wide receiver Warren room Green. in the NFL. Whoa, dude. That's uh, what they Robert they, Woods do. It's it. a great it's NFL. Really it's a great wide receiver room. Doesn't mean we can't add to it. Oh yeah, that's what you I guys think. are acting like it's like the best in the NFL, and there's no reason we can add Robert Woods to it. Come on, dude.